Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Rangers, and I'm here to talk about game one of the Eastern Conference Finals, where the Rangers lose 3-1 to to the Florida Panthers and fall down 1-0 in the series to said Panthers. They steal a game on home ice, which is very not ideal. Uh, okay, that game sucked a lot. It didn't feel that the Rangers got dominated. That's the first thing that I'll say to begin with. To knock the few positives, I'll actually do that. The few positives out of the way early. My biggest concern with this series was that the Rangers were going to come in not mentally ready for the physical game and that they were going to get punked, bullied, and just have their lunch money stolen by the Florida Panthers. And you know what? They didn't. Give the Rangers credit. They didn't. I thought there were a lot of times in this game where the Rangers would get hit and they just kept going about their business. They weren't looking for a call. They weren't trying to play, oh, woe is me. They just took the hit, got up, continued chasing the puck. That was good. And you could tell that the Panthers were a little bit confused by it. Because usually, when the Panthers do that, they goat the other team into penalties or fights. And if you fight them, they're going to beat you up worse than the hit. And you could tell that they were just kind of shocked that the Rangers were taking it. They were giving it back. I thought they did fine physically. That was perfectly fine. Um, the biggest issue was the Rangers offense looking anemic and then them being just just really stupid. First period, you had Jacob Drew to take a penalty. Here's the thing. I don't hate the penalty from Jacob Truba from a certain standpoint. I don't hate the fact that Truba sat there behind the net seeing a wide open dude in front and then hooked him to take a penalty to avoid that shot. Our penalty kill is unbelievable. I want to say they're top three in the playoffs. They were top three all regular season. They're great. I have total faith in the penalty kill. The penalty kill looked great tonight. So, I'm fine with that. What sucks on that play is the awful giveaway, which is a theme that we're going to come back to, guys, uh, by Jacob Truba that then made him have to take the penalty. That wasn't good. Very not good. How did the Panthers get on the board first? Nothing shot by Matthew Kachuk. Of course, it's Matthew Kachuk. Shesterkin's got to have that. It goes off the glove. He's got to have that. Uh, I'm not going to blame this on Shesterkin, the game. But, dude, both of the goals, he wears a lot of the blame for. Got to have that first goal. The second goal, we're... Okay, I'll get to that in a second. Get to that in a second. But the first goal, he's got to have. Rangers looked very not great in the first period. Second period starts, and they come out like a bunch of bats out of hell. They are challenging. They're more physical. They looked great for like three or four minutes. And I'm thinking, all right, this is where they come storming back. Whatever happened in the locker room is going to just bring them raring back into this game. And it just kind of didn't. They had some moments, but not enough of them. Like, listen, I'll give playoff Bob his flowers. This was a game that he totally stole from them. The Rangers had a couple of really good chances, especially late in the third period. They felt a little bit too little too late. Bobrovsky made some unreal saves for the Florida Panthers. Like, this easily could have been, give or take, 4-1 Rangers if a couple of shots go differently, if he can't get back on some plays. Unreal kick save from Bob, couple stops on the breakaway, and you might say, well, Weston, I, Schneider rang it off the post. If you're ringing it off the post, it's a sign the goalie's in really good position and you have nothing to shoot at. But Brofsky came up big for the Panthers a few times. And I'm not saying this to... And the Kako shot off of his, like, toe. Just side note on that play. Um, don't love the fact that Gus just passed it. Take the shot. You're alone in front. Why are you making Kako shoot from such a hard angle? Just take the shot. Like, that would have been my preference there. But, you know, he doesn't. Like, he came up huge for him. And... I'm not saying this to belittle him. I'm not saying this to bash him. I love him as a player. He's looked really good for both the first and second round. He had some massive games. They're, the Panthers goalie outplayed the Rangers goalie. And it kind of boils down to that. Shesterkin had the bad read on the Kachuk shot. And then the second goal. Um, everyone gets to wear it on this. And it sucks because I... Love these three players a lot, but holy crap, they all got to wear it. Starts with Miller getting turnstiled, like just absolutely turnstiled. 
embarrassed, walked like a dog, however you want to say it. You can say it a million different ways. I do not care. And then Verhege kind of puts it into the zone. For no apparent reason, Shesturgeon goes and plays the puck. Why didn't he leave it for Gustafson? No idea. No reason for him to play the puck there. Absolutely no reason. But he goes out and he plays the puck. And then, from that, it's given right back to Carter Verhege, who takes a shot on net, and Alexi Lafreniere with a beautiful tip in front right through the five hole. Just... Ah! Ah! Like, ah! Right? Like, it... All of them have to wear it. All of them have to wear it for that goal. Um... Obviously, you'd love your player not to score on his own goaltender. I would have loved for Miller not to get embarrassed the way he did. I would have loved for Shesterkin not to have played the puck. That was just an awful, awful goal. They really tried. They had a couple of really good shots before that. When it was 2-0, you just kind of knew it was over. Sam Bennett gets an empty netter. 3-0. Like, the part about this game that hurts the most is I don't think the defense played terrible. I really don't. They gave up 26 shots. I'm not going to count the empty netter in it. The defense looked fine. And honestly, it might even be less than that because I'm pretty sure Fox had a couple of saves with the, imp with the net being empty. Like, it wasn't a bad defensive game. It really wasn't. The first goal, they were doing a fine job defensively. The second goal, they could have done a fine job defensively. We'll never know because we weren't allowed to see what would have happened if the defenseman touched the puck. And I didn't really think the Panthers had that many high-danger chances. I honestly thought the Rangers outchanced them. And that's a really polite way for saying, ah, but what if? I don't think they got run over. I think this is an incredibly frustrating game because it's an incredibly winnable game on home ice to set a tone for the series that you are not going to be pushed around by them physically, that you can play with them and hang with them, and that you're going to defend your home ice. But you do none of that. Because they get the win, and they get to say, look at that, 3-0. And it's an infuriating way to start the series. Now... I am not so blind to not notice the fact that this is the first time in any of these series the Rangers have been down. And this is still only their third loss of the playoffs, and we are almost to June. Like, it is May 22nd. That's not lost on me. But this is the best team you have played to this point. I would go as far as to say this is the best team in the NHL in general. They look the most built for it. I said back in November, I said it in October even, that the Eastern Conference was a competition of who gets to get their you-know-what served to them by the Florida Panthers. I've said it since game one. And this was a game where you very, very easily, with a couple of finishes... And a couple of not just <clears throat> of the brain could have won. Could have, nay, dominated. But they don't. They don't, and now you have to, you have to win game two. Because you cannot go to Florida down 2-0. You cannot go to Florida 2-0. Game five, game two. I was going to say game Friday, which is correct. Game two Friday, 8 p.m. Must win. I'll be here afterwards to talk about it, but as for right now, that's all I have to say. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider to like and subscribe. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day, and as always, go Rangers.